Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your uh, remaining part of May reading starting from 22nd through the 31st of May 2019. This is going to be for my fishies. That means the sign of Pisces. So let's see what's coming up Pisces for the remaining part of the month starting from tomorrow. So let's see. Um, the format of the reading is going to be the same as I did for the last uh, few readings. So let's see. What's kind of there for my fishies? Um, I was thinking to do a reading for Pisces, which I would, um, um, you know, do after getting done with the, with these readings for the remaining part of the month. So um, there are certain things that I really need to talk about when it comes to Pisces, especially. But I think I would keep it, you know, a bit generalized. So uh, other people who have Pisces in their chart can also be, you know. Um, um, can also, you know, kind of benefit from that reading. Uh, it's not going to be a reading, but it is going to be a message. So you could um, deal with the things in a, in a better way when it comes to your love life, especially. So I will be talking about that um, soon after getting done with these readings. So yeah, let's see. Um, do, uh, do watch out the reading that I will upload. So, yeah, let's see um, what's coming up for Pisces for the remaining part of the month of May. <clears throat> Be mindful of the fact it is a general reading. It may and it may not resonate with everyone out there. So pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. Uh, you can always reach out to me for a personal reading. You can also check out uh, the affirmations that I am doing. And uh, you can also, you know, email me if you really need to have further information on that you can also follow me on instagram where i do daily readings if you have not followed me yet do follow me on my instagram page where i do upload daily readings and uh, you can check the link to my profile in the description box i think i said that twice but anyways <laughs> let's see what's coming up where are my fishies i hope you have uh you know, I hope you've been having good times. So, and I wish and hope the same coming forward for us for the remaining part of the month as well. Let's begin with this color card here, which I believe you already saw because it kind of, you know, turned upside down. Um, Lilac, strengthen your faith. It's time for you to feed the faith more than your fears and that is something I believe you uh, really struggle to have because uh, when you see things are not turning out the way you want them or you wish things to move in a certain direction but, but you see the exact opposite happening in your life it's really hard to kind of you know have faith in that situation but if you could hold on to your faith and if you could uh, stay positive in that particular situation, nothing in the world can take away from what you truly desire. It's like, you know, that that thought itself is kind of, you know, uh, there for you to kind of, you know, waver from what you truly desire and kind of settle in for the less. And if you could overcome that fear where you kind of, you know, think, okay, maybe I will not get that, you know, wish of mine fulfilled so I can, you know, think of something else. If you could stick to your own, you know, initial wish that you have, and if you show faith in the universe, then you shall get it. So it's time for you to strengthen the faith. For some of you, I am picking up the energies that you might kind of, you know, feel like, you know, giving up on the relationship, giving up on a situation, giving up on a um, job opportunity that you were waiting to receive. And it's like the universe is asking you to strengthen your faith. Feed your faith more than your fears and doubts. The moment you have a fearful thought, change it, switch it, and you shall get your wish fulfilled. So um, during this period of time, during the last, you know, um, nine, ten days of um, May, you really have to kind of keep telling yourself, you can do it, you can have it, you can, uh, you deserve it. And just keep saying that to yourself and keep that faith intact so you could receive what you truly desire to receive in your any area of your life. You can also um, 
have the lilac flowers in, in the room where you live or where you stay most of the time, be that at your workplace, be that at your home, you know, in your room. Um, you could also use lilac uh, air freshener because that also gives um, a sense of calmness, I believe, because I, I do use that a lot. Um, that's, in fact, my favorite um, air freshener. So if, if you are, um, I don't know, it, it does soothe you in a, in a very magical way, I would say. So do that. You could also wear this shade of purple and along with the combination of green. Um, let me show you if you could see that. Yeah, that sheet of purple with green. And that itself is going to help you. Any shade of purple will do, but uh, this shade of purple is going to kind of, you know, um, help you stay in, you know, in, um, in alignment with what you truly desire. Let's see what's the uh, romance angel uh, romance angel oracle card has to say you deserve love you are lovable that's exactly what i said you really need to keep on telling yourself that you deserve love you can have it you need to tell yourself that you are worthy of everything good that you really wish to have in your life if you could feed that faith in you you can have anything that you want or anything that you are feeding to yourself you are going to have it so just feed your faith and you shall have it. Um, I am picking up the energy for those of you who are going to keep their faith intact and who are going to stay positive even if the things are not moving or you could feel that things are not happening exactly the way you want. Uh, maybe the goal list that you had is not you know, happening the way you wanted it to be. But still you could hold yourself back uh hold your you know um yeah hold yourself back from you know getting into that trap of fearful thoughts you are going to be on the receiving end of receive you know this love coming from that person who is going to believe that you deserve love who is going to express that yes you are lovable and it's going to come from that person who um who never thought of you that way, who never thought of you to be the one they could spend their life with. And it's, it's like, you know, you need to be persistent and consistent when it comes to feeding your faith. If you keep on doing that, you are going to be receiving that love. You are going to be uh, on the receiving end of um, that expression of love coming from that particular person that you are looking to receive the love coming from. Um, If you have had recent um, interaction with this person, you said something, you, you made them feel something which they never felt before is what I'm picking up. The angels were supporting you when you met them last time. The angels were supporting you when you kind of, you know, texted them last time. The last conversation that you had with this person is something which is kind of you know going to um open their heart up to the love that you have to share with them it's like you know they are going to be receptive to that love they are going to be receptive to the uh to the uh to the um thought that this can work and they would be ready to kind of you know um give it a chance i believe and I am picking up that energy that this person, whoever it is, your words, be that written in, you know, in text messages, be that, you know, said uh, on call, be that, you know, said in one-to-one -one, uh, communication, they have kind of melted their heart for you and they are thinking of you uh, the way they never thought of you before because, you know, it's, it's more like, you know, there was some sort of, you know, magical support with you when you kind of communicated with them last time. That can happen for some of you during this period of time. If you are going to reach out to them thinking that, you know, they have not reached out to you, uh, reached out to you yet and you are planning to kind of, you know, reach them out. Universe is going to be supportive towards you and um, 
you are going to get a positive response coming from them. You are going to have uh, an open communication where they are going to be expressive as well, is what I'm picking up. So you really need to have faith. Like, you know, if you go just, you know, uh, thinking negative that, you know, they are, you know, they never kind of, you know, treated you well, they are going to treat you bad this time as well. So that is exactly what you're going to get. So you really need to feed your faith and then go for it. Have faith that you have some sort of, you know, if you pick up your phone and you are kind of, you know, texting them up, imagine as if, you know, there is this ball of energy, uh, you know, the angels are kind of, you know, protecting you, this communication, whatever the words are that you are writing, typing, whatever the words you are speaking to them, imagine as if they are filled, covered, protected with love and angels all around you and that person it's like you know it's going to kind of you know um it's kind of you know going to protect that communication to the level where you and that person is not going to misunderstand each other but you both are going to exchange the communication in a way that you never experienced before at least not in the recent times is what i'm picking up let's see what the rider with cards has to say a font communication growth um a com it could be a communication leading towards a growth in a relationship within a relationship as well three of cups perfect like i i believe the Pisces readings has been kind of you know um the recent in fact the whole month um had been kind of you know um very positive and i i've been receiving it's it's like you know there are a few people you know, when I when I uh, watch my reading afterwards and if I see the likes and dislikes and all, and I feel like, you know, the people who are disliking the videos, even if they are so positive, if the energies that come, you know, um, for the Pisceans, for the, for the week time, even if they are so positive, people, there are still people who are kind of, you know, disliking the video. I feel like, you know, they, they need to kind of... Uh, um, they need to kind of, you know, open up to receive goodness in their lives rather than, you know, sitting back and, you know, thinking it's not going to happen with me because, you know, it never happened. They never reached out to me. They never, you know, said positive things to me and stuff like that. There are some people who are not ready to um, give themselves the, um, the, you know, the, the worth that, you know, that they truly deserve. And if you are not valuing yourself you are never going to get the value from the other person so it's just that if you believe you can receive good things coming from that particular person you will receive good things coming from that person if you really wish to have a communication if you really wish to have a um, successful relationship with this person you are going to get it but for that you really need to have or show faith in this relationship show faith in yourself and then go for it if you are feeling lack of um, you know something within you you are never going to get satisfaction from the other person you really need to go within to heal that first to feel complete and whole without them and then try to attract them in your life and that is again like you know that's how we manifest people relationships jobs opportunities in our life you really need to go deep into the techniques of manifestation if you if you don't know them you really need to get into the details like you know you cannot have something if you you know if if you put half heart into you know that whatever you are doing in your life you really need to um go deeper then and then find out what is not working for you and try to change that to manifest what you want and um I believe coming back to what I was talking about here is um, if I am picking up the energy like you know if you have not been in communication with this person and if you are thinking to reach out to them the response is going to be positive for those of you who are going to stay positive when they are texting you know that particular person or when they are thinking to call them up or whatever you are going to be doing because I do see communication happening if um, you reach out to them and if you stay positive you are going to receive some good news during this period of time like you know the last uh, days of May and 
you will thank yourself to be the one texting them or reaching them out because maybe they have ego issues maybe they they were kind of you know waiting on for you to kind of reach out to them so they they would know that you are single and um maybe they were unsure of uh, your you know um uh, relationship status and that's why they were not kind of reaching out to you maybe they have hurt you so bad and they were you know uh thinking that uh, maybe you are never going to give them a chance so when you reach out to them you definitely going to have a healthy communication which is going to lead this relationship to the next level where you are going to celebrate good times together is what i'm picking up and um but having said you know that you really need to keep telling yourself you can have it i would suggest you to use affirmations for those of you who are struggling to have that faith to have that you know a uh, new belief regarding relationships regarding that particular person in your life you really need to feed yourself with faith you really need to keep telling yourself with positive affirmations that you can have this person um you can you know do that over and over again and you shall meet this person with um you would see i i am thinking of that energy you know very strongly that this whole change is going to happen during this period of time and by the time by the time you reach the end and you enter into the month of june you are going to be walking into the next month with a celebration it could be a uh, you know it could be a reunion for the two of you it could be uh you know a celebration of a, of the reignited passion that you share for each other it could be um it's it's just like you know two people coming back together and it's like you are going to have that celebration coming for you and it doesn't matter if they for some of you it it would be that person reaching out to you for others of you for most of you i believe it's going to be the pisians who is going to reach out to this person and then the whole thing will start up so um if you are holding yourself back thinking negative thoughts stop thinking negative first meditate calm your nerves think positive and then reach out to them don't reach out to them with negative thoughts like i said when you are reaching out to them think of you know yourself being uh covered or protected with love coming from heavens and like you know that love is kind of you know getting bigger and bigger and bigger till it kind of engulf that particular person in that bubble of love and protection um and then reach out to them don't reach out to them if you are feeling low if you are feeling bad if you are feeling um unhappy if you are having like low vibration don't reach out to them because you really need to be in the vibe where you feel that the angels are with you the angels are with you and if you feel that you know support coming from the heavens you will be so positive you will not have a single doubt you will not have a single fearful thought that they are not going to do this or that so you really need to approach to this you know communication this relationship if you really want to uh rekindle the whole thing with them if you really want to uh get back with them you really need to think from a positive um uh, mindset and then reach out to this person and you shall get what you want because i do see you celebrating a good time together with this person and um and i am picking up a new uh it would be a new start it would be a new beginning happening for the two of you and Yeah that's pretty much it coming up for the sign of Pisces if the reading resonates with you to like subscribe and share and if you are willing to get a personal reading in your particular situation you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for Pisces take care bye bye